It's Jamie here and welcome back to my channel Reviews by Jamie. So today I'm going to be doing another fitting room review. It's actually part two of the one that I did yesterday and I'm trying on clothes from Bethany Moda's new collection for Aeropostale. You might also know her as Mac Barbie 07 on YouTube. My first video I was getting a lot of good feedback on and you guys were all enjoying the giveaway so I wanted to do another giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure that you stay tuned and see how you can win items from Bethany's new collection. And I was also so excited because Bethany actually reached tweeted my video and commented to me that she watched my video and she really enjoyed it and then she liked it on YouTube so I was like having the best YouTube night ever last night. I was so excited about that. So a couple of you asked, oh when you went back there were, was it the same workers because the first time those people thought I was like crazy. So I was actually really nervous and when I walked in there I saw a guy working so I thought oh good he wasn't there yesterday and then there was an older woman working and I thought okay she wasn't there but then there was this girl who looked around the same age as somebody from yesterday but I couldn't tell so I kept like eyeing her to see if she was looking at me like like, did she remember me? Is this the same girl? I don't even know. I still don't know. I mean, my facial recognition isn't always that good. And I felt like the male worker, he just seemed to be more open to me being obsessive about the line. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I tried on from her collection. So this first outfit, I put together a little outfit in there. It was a, it's a lace bodysuit. So this bodysuit is probably a size too small for me. It's really, really tight on me. And, but I really liked it. I thought that it was really pretty. They had a couple of colors, but I really like this one. It's so feminine and pretty. And I love how the back is just more sheer and it go, it has like a scoop back and it's just really pretty. It just has a really cool kind of boho, feminine, fun, cool vibe to it. <laughs> This next outfit, I love. Okay, it's the same skirt, but I paired it with this t-shirt. Like, I'm gonna try it on, it's so cute. And this totally looks like a Brandy Melville outfit to me, and I just love it. Next thing I tried on is this sweater crop top, which made me really angry at myself because towards the end of the summer, I bought a black sweater crop top from Urban Outfitters, and I paid a ton for it. Never wore it, it's still hanging in my closet with tags, and I'm like, oh gosh, I should have waited because now I see them out all the time. And I really like this one because it's, that really pretty blue color, but it has some black threading mixed in with it too. So I really like this next shirt. It describes me perfectly. It says, when I say, what does it say? I have to read it off there. That's how bad my memory is right now. When I say I am not normal, I, <laughs> I just, I just read the word honestly as home style and thought that it was about to talk about food, like home style fries or something. When I say I am not normal, I honestly mean it. That really works for me well. I feel like I feel like I am normal like on an everyday basis, but then that I'm not so much anymore. And I like how I'm pointing at the saying, but it's really pointing at my boob. Um, whoops, sorry about that. I like how this shirt looks, and I really like how it looks with these jeans. One thing I like about them is that they were more high-waisted, and I like the color of them, and the quality felt nice too. There's seriously like a blizzard going outside right now that I was totally unaware of until my screen started getting like really white and bright, and I'm like, why is the exposure so high right now? Oh, okay, it's like totally white outside. This next shirt, I can't even begin to tell you how much this explains me. I am a gigantic procrastinator. I don't really believe the saying. It says, if I leave homework to the last day, wait no, I leave homework to the last day because I'll be older, therefore wiser. I don't usually read that slow, but it's a, me like an, it's a mirror image, so it's backwards. So um, that totally describes me. Oh my gosh, procrastinator, major, major, major one. So I thought, hey, that's a cool shirt. I have got to try that on. I procrastinated trying it on until today. Okay so, then, uh, okay, so the next couple things I tried on, I, I made a little outfit again because a lot of the items kind of go together and I thought it would save time when I filmed. So I'm wearing this um, pretty like chiffon dress kind of, it could be a top off, so I don't know because I'm short so I don't even know anymore, but I thought it was really pretty, just chiffon. It reminded me of something off of like lulus.com or toby.com, which I shop at those online stores a lot so I know their items really well, and it just reminded me of it. It would be a nice holiday outfit so and then the leggings they were so small they run really small um or i run really big i'm not sure which one it 
is actually. I might know. And I like how they're like a sweater legging. Just really comfortable looking. Not comfortable on because they didn't fit me. But I think for other people these would be a really, really nice pair of leggings to get. And then I tried on this coat and I wasn't even going to try it on. But then I thought... I bet people would like a coat like this. It's just a nice, simple, basic black coat. I love the gold buttons on it. I counted them. There are four of them, and that's been confirmed. If you don't know what to wear, just put on, like, whatever shirt you have. Put on your cool coat from the collection and the cool leggings, and you're kind of set. Just don't take your jacket off or coat off, whatever would. I always mix those up. Coat, jacket, I don't know. So when I was trying this dress on, there was a really rockin' version of Jingle Bell Rock going on in there, and I couldn't, I wanted to dance, but I was kind of twirling the skirt and feet with it, because it was really good. And it was a lot like softer and nicer material than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be kind of stiff, and I almost didn't even try it on. I was just going to show it, and then I'm like, oh, don't be so lazy, just put the thing on. So I put it on, and it actually kind of stretched out and fit nice, and it was very comfortable and soft. I don't really need a dress right now because it's like a uh, blizzard out there but you know if you're living in a warmer climate or if you just want to keep it or you could dress it up no not dress it up you could kind of transition it no not transition it <laughs> you could you can make it be more like a fall winter dress because you could put like a blazer over it tights combat boots right now it's time for the giveaway yay so i already have a giveaway for her collection going on in the first video that i did and you can check that out i'll link it below and you can see if you like any of those prizes from her collection but today I'm going to be doing a, a little bit different of a giveaway so I'm going to be giving away this owl sweater and I just love it it's just laid back casual and so cute very comfortable it's kind of stretchy so I got a medium in this because I really did feel like it could fit a good variety of sizes I mean it's hard to pick but I just thought somewhere in the middle would be good and if you're a little smaller, it could be a little looser on you, or it could be a little bit more of a tighter fit if you are bigger than a medium. So I do feel like it could fit a lot of people, and it's just so cute. And then again, I got another one of these Motivator t-shirts, these cropped ones, and this is a one-size-fits-all. So I'm going to give this away, too, to... Um, oh, yeah, this is just one gift altogether, so this will go with it. I got this for myself yesterday, and I got another one for this giveaway. It's this little owl bracelet. It is so cute. And then I actually ended up getting a couple other things for my giveaway for Twitter and Instagram, so make sure that you're following me on those so that you can be up to date on all the giveaways I'm doing because it's my 20 days of giveaways going on right now. So I'm doing a new giveaway each day, and sometimes there's more than one. So just be on the lookout. And I picked up a couple more things. I picked up another one of the owl necklaces because that is a giveaway going on right now in my other video. And then, of course, I had to pick up another one of the bow ear warmers. I was surprised that there were any left, so I decided I'm going to get it so there's no more left there. And I can't, I can't have any of these be left there. So if you want to win the owl sweatshirt bracelet, oh, I'm not holding these very nice. Owl sweatshirt, still no. Oh, sweatshirt, the motivator t motivator t-shirt, and the owl bracelet. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to enter the giveaway. And of course, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my website. I'll link everything down below so that you can go ahead and be involved in all of the giveaways. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!